This tutorial will focus on the various types of entities in VizPro, such as vertices, edges, solids, and faces. We'll see how different entities are represented in Viz and how to manipulate them. Our first example will be used to get a general overview of VizPro entities. Look in the Sample Models folder and open the SketchUp model called Chair. In Viz, create a BREP source node, and in SketchUp, use the Set Geometry Source tool to import the chair into Viz. Remember, BREP stands for Boundary Representation, which is the data type used to contain generic geometry. Add a BREP Components node, which is used to extract the different entities that comprise the imported BREP. Connect BREP to BREP. The preview value of the BREP source node is a toggle, which turns on and off the geometry display. Double-clicking on PR hides the chair itself, making it easier to see the various entities the BREP components node will extract. To get a list of extracted entities, add a preview node and connect it to the list of BREP components. The default value of component type is vertex, so all vertices of the chair are highlighted on the right. The definition of a vertex is a zero-dimensional element representing a point. Double-click on T and change it to edge. An edge is a one-dimensional shape corresponding to a line, arc, or a generic curve, and has a vertex at either end. Changing the type to wire produces sequences of edges connected by vertices, such as a polyline. Face shows surfaces that are bounded by closed wires. Shell is similar, but these surfaces are bounded by edges. Solid produces the 3D spaces surrounded by shells. A comp solid is a set of solids connected by their faces. Since this chair is just one solid, its BREP doesn't contain a comp solid. A compound is a set containing any types of shape. In our second example, we'll look more closely at edges, wires, and faces. We'll build the model entirely within Viz with results identical to what you'll find in the sample model called wire. This model is a prismatic object with a rectangular hole through the middle. In a new SketchUp file, open the Viz window. Start with a line node found in the primitive category. Add an arc three points node from the same category and connect the two line endpoints to the two arc endpoints. We want both objects to lie in the xy plane, so change the coordinates of line point A to negative 1, 0, 0, and point B to 1, 0, 0. The line and arc are separate edges, so we need to make them into a wire. Choose BREP wire, and this node needs a list of edges as input. Connect both the line and arc outputs to the wire edges. To add a face inside this wire, choose BREP face from wire. Connect wire to wire. Now we'll add the rectangle, which is also a primitive node. It's created as a closed wire. To move the rectangle inside the larger face, choose Transform Move and set the rectangle output as the geometry to move. Change the transform values to 0, 1, 0 to get the rectangle inside the face. We don't need to see the original rectangle anymore, so toggle off its preview. Now add a face holes node, which is a BREP. Connect face to face and define the move geometry as the hole. Toggle off the preview of the face from wire node so we can see the new face with the hole. In VizPro, a face can always be built by supplying a closed wire surrounding the face and optionally adding one or more closed wires to represent holes in the face. The surface of the face doesn't have to be planar, it can be an arbitrary surface. We'll cover faces made with arbitrary faces in a later tutorial. To control the rectangle size, add sliders for width and height. Adjust the range of each slider to keep the rectangle within the face. To make the face 3D, choose Shape Prism. Connect the face with holes to the prism shape. And finally, add a shell sink to bring the object into SketchUp. 
For the third example, we'll import a BREP from SketchUp and apply a fillet to the model edges. Start with the sample model called Fillet. The model is a group. In Viz, create a BREP source, and in SketchUp, export the shape back into Viz. Create a BREP components node and connect the BREP to it. Set the component type to Edge. Choose Shape Fillet, which needs two connections. Connect the BREP to Fillet BREP and component edges to fillet edges. Toggle off the preview of the imported BREP. Connect a slider to the fillet radius, setting the range from 0 to 0.375. Add a shell sink to bring the model back into SketchUp. Separate the two groups to better see the results.